what has me so interested in music or the mysticism of sound it's intuitive like anything that you enjoy doing can help you move into that intuitive state of being where it's like well it doesn't really matter if I achieve something or if I do anything good I'm happy with the process itself and for me that works with music because if I'm just freestyling blues on the band drum like I don't really care if it sounds good or if it's successful I just don't care I just in that blues state you know what I'm saying man that raw shamanic play with my balls blues from the balls on the banjo <laughs> love it and I find that in my personal human journey like this moving with passion connecting with my true will is a great decision maker for me I, I tend to be very motivated by music dancing making love and my dreams you know and and anyone who's a musician probably resonate what I'm saying and when it's not a musician, you know, I, like I coach people who aren't musicians to play percussion and it helps them make decisions. Because like if you're buying percussion, you kind of get into that feeling state of just buying percussion. Making decisions then become easier and faster. Because you're like, you know what? Like, because playing music is just making random sounds that feels good. That's it. And life is like that too. Just doing things that make us feel good. We can think about it, we can plan it, we can practice things, but ultimately we just want to do, we just want to feel good. You know, for some people that's relaxing all the time, and for some people it's working all the time, and for some people like myself, I like to work half the day and do the, ha, half the time is relaxing and having fun. Each their own. So for me specifically, music gets an insight into consciousness. Um... I was able to fully realize <laughs> that everything we experience is on an objective sense just one big body, one big universal body. We can call it Shekinah, we can call it Shakti, we can call that Tiamat, we can just call it universal body. On a subjective sense, everything then is just uh, in the mind. And the mind turns off when when we're just listening deeply to music listening deeply to ourselves because like a song like when you play a song uh, quite often we're, oh, that song definitely has a start this song definitely has an end definitely I know when I'm listening to a song yet on an on objective totally physical level what is a song? it's a series of noises that our mind has grouped together. But otherwise, if you went, is that a beat? Oh, that's a beat. Oh, that's a song. <laughs> On a physical level, nothing changed, it's just noises. But the mind just goes, oh, that's a song. And the same is with our sense of being as well. We kind of just go, what's that? Oh, body, oh, feelings, thoughts, oh, that's me. It's just a bunch of stuff that's happening, and we call it a me. So I yeah, I deeply go into this. Uh, find fascinating, and you know, I, Sufism was really well opened up for me. But Sufism, um, mantras, getting into the Hebrew stuff, love it all. And you know, today I was doing like a static breathing. Yeah, but that to me, so that, that's that's my brief. Why I'm interested in mysticism of sound, and I'm in the process of uh, yeah, in the process of uh, trying to construct something to share with people. <laughs>